Welcome to this Getting Started video, Bank Feeds in QuickBooks Online. In this video, you will learn about setting up bank feeds and how to process online banking transactions. One of the most difficult parts of small business bookkeeping is manual data entry. QuickBooks Online helps by minimizing the amount of data that you and your clients have to enter. This feature lets you connect QuickBooks directly to your client's online banking. When you connect your client bank and credit card accounts, QuickBooks begins to do the work for you. After you make a connection to your client's online bank, QuickBooks automatically downloads the transactions every day and enters them in QuickBooks. Instead of manual data entry, you simply have to process the transactions as often as they are downloaded. Another benefit is improved bank reconciliation. By regularly using the bank feed, QuickBooks makes the bank reconciliation at month end very easy. Now, let's take a look at how to get the bank feed set up. On the home page, you can click Add Account, or in some cases, if you already have a bank account or a credit card account set up, you will click Connect Another Account. You can choose from the list of banks here or search for your bank or credit card. After you find the bank or credit card that you are using, QuickBooks requires some simple information to get set up. Enter the information required by QuickBooks. After you have finished entering the information, click Login. QuickBooks now connects you to your bank account. After QuickBooks has done the connection, you can select the bank account that you want to link the online bank account to in QuickBooks. After you've chosen the account, click Connect. After QuickBooks has completed making the connection, now you are ready to get to work on the bank feed. Let's take a look at the bank feed in QuickBooks. On the home page, QuickBooks tells you that it has transactions available under the Bank Accounts section. The circled number indicates the number of transactions waiting to be processed. Click the account to view the bank feed. There are three tabs in this window, New Transactions, In QuickBooks, and Excluded. The New Transactions include the most recently downloaded transactions. This is where you will process the downloaded transactions on a regular basis. You will notice that there are several types of categorized transactions. First, there are matched transactions. This type of transaction means that QuickBooks has recognized a transaction from the bank feed that matches an existing transaction in QuickBooks. QuickBooks does this to avoid making any duplicate entries. Simply click the Match button to complete the entry in QuickBooks. You'll see that now the transaction has been matched and is added to QuickBooks. The second type of transaction is the type of transaction that is categorized according to a rule. QuickBooks lets you set up rules to have QuickBooks recognize and categorize transactions according to a set of rules that you choose. To set up a rule, click the down arrow next to the Update button and then click Manage Rules. Click New Rule to add a new rule to QuickBooks. Add a rule name. After you've added the rule name, you must determine if this rule is for money going out or money coming in. In this case, it's for money out, and we choose the account, and in this case, it's going to be the credit card. Now you can choose the conditions that are required to have this rule take effect. Suppose you want to enter a rule for office expenses incurred that are under $200. For this rule, you would choose Amount. You would select is less than $200. Now you can attach a payee, category, and tax code as needed. After you have entered all of the lines, click Save to complete the rule setup. Now QuickBooks will automatically do the entries for you according to the rules that you have set up. You can set up as many rules for your clients as you need to to help you manage your clients' bookkeeping effectively. The third type of transaction is the uncategorized transaction. This type of transaction means that QuickBooks has not been able to find a match for the transaction and has not applied a rule. 
QuickBooks lets you choose the category and tax code for this type of transaction. Over time, QuickBooks learns more about your preferences and will suggest a category for you. In this example of Future Shop, QuickBooks knows that transactions from this supplier are often computer equipment, so it has suggested the computer equipment expense account. If you click the transaction, you can edit the transaction as needed and add information as required by your client. After you've completed the categorization, click Add to save and close that transaction. You can process each transaction as needed according to the rules and matches or by choosing a category. QuickBooks also lets you ignore a transaction by selecting the transaction in the left hand side and then clicking Batch Actions and choosing Exclude Selected. Setting up bank feeds and processing transactions will greatly improve the time that it takes to do your client bookkeeping. Thank you for watching this introductory video to QuickBooks Online Bank Feeds and Online Banking Processing.